comes Joey now. Hey guys, long time no see. Hey. <laughs> That noise? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we may have just bore witness to Joey's first time high-fiving a girl. Granted, it's not giving her the Brooklyn salami, but that's like mating in the Trolls universe. I'm already the proud owner of two locator cards. Then I guess I'm twice as good. What? You got four locator cards? I've got three so far. Aw, oh, man, I got the least. Ugh. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure Mai's duel was against Uvogin and duelist jobbers like the human spider from last episode, so don't sweat it. Good luck and miss me, boys. Please, crush me. Ooh! I bet Joey is glad he's turned around after that, because aside from going against Weevil in a couple moments, his day just got harder. Luck is for amateurs. <laughs> Luck is for amateurs. My Brooklyn boy, your deck is 80% dice rolls, coin flips, wheel spins, and scapegoat. Granted, that last one isn't luck-based, but SCAPEGOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
<laughs> Great, Weevil has been on screen for no more than a few seconds and he's already gone. <laughs> Give me that rare card you promised me. Ah, yes, the rare card. <gasps> awesome. Hey, it's a stinking Gokobor card. Everybody has this one. <laughs> So you want me to give you something else? Yeah! Alright, how about a taste of my Arachno slime? <laughs> Is this Weevil's equivalent of killing off his agent after he's outlived his usefulness or something? Yeah, my plan is coming together perfectly! So I suppose blasting this kid with spider semen was a part of the master plan as well. Penta, you can't hide from me. Serenity, did you hear anyone come in here? How can Serenity hear if she's blind? Are you Retarded. Whoa, what's up? Are you even real oh, right now? it's deaf people that are you can't hear. You right now? Uh, are you the prodigy of? Epicness! There's a little boy running around the ward trying to avoid getting his x rays taken. Hmm. He must be scared. Yeah, he won't go near the machine, even though I told him it's painless. What if the boy is just super sensitive to this carcinogen? Have you ever thought about that, nurse pants? Dress. Whatever. Even if he wasn't, what if he's bad luck Brian's cousin and gets cancer from the scan? You stole that little kid's cards, didn't you, Worm Breath? I don't remember stealing any cards. We'll settle this fair and square with a duel. Uh, be really careful, Joey. Remember when Weevil threw Yugi's Exodia cards off the boat to Duelist Island? This guy's a major cheater. First, it was Duelist Kingdom. And second, Weevil undergarments disposing of Exodia makes him more of a swindling vandal than a cheater since Yugi didn't need them anyway. <laughs> Careful where you point that finger, Taya. It might get bitten by one of my pets. Gross! <laughs> Weevil's creepiness makes Taya's hair stand on end. And that's impressive since people in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe have hair that seems to be weighed down by a metric ton of gel. <laughs> True to how he was back in Duelist Kingdom, Weevil just loves his pre-dueling shouting. <laughs> My swordsman of Landstar in attack mode! What? Is this squishy guy a bear in disguise? When flying Kamakiri number one is sent to the graveyard, it automatically summons an even more powerful warrior to take its place. The dreaded flying Kamakiri mm. number two! <laughs> oh yeah, most definitely. This extremely dreadful monster with its 100 attack point difference from the last one. Also, the flying Kamakiri number one is a Kamakiri poser. A Kamakiri is a mantis, and as we can plainly see, this boy is a dragonfly. Jinzo, attack! <laughs> What's that? Ah, that's my flying leech, Kisatai! It attaches itself to the first monster that attacks it, then it increases my life points by 1200 every time it's your turn! <laughs> <laughs> My leech feeding on your monster, my life points will continue to grow, making me indestructible! Say goodbye to the Battle City Tournament, Wheeler! You can have all the life points in the world, it doesn't mean anything. I know so because if Dueling Nexus has taught me anything, it's that there's a lot of people out there who can one turn kill better than I am at breathing. Bug Boy, meet Panther Warrior! It means a sacrifice in order to attack. So, I'll sacrifice my Jinzo and get rid of your leech! I know that Joey is now safe from the leech effect, but now he's left with this hot mess of a card that needs a sacrifice for just 2,000 points of damage. The all-powerful Cocoon of Evolution! Weevil just combined some of the most powerful cards in all of Duel Monsters. I get that this is meant to be 2003 and Yu-Gi-Oh is only four years old, but the Cocoon of Evolution is far cry from the best monster. I played Reckless Parasite, which brings the parasite in your deck to life! You gotta be out of your mind! My deck doesn't have any insect card- ah! You were saying? Looks like you had a Parasite Parasite card in your deck and I've activated it! Now every monster you play will be infected! That's really gross! That little germ! It looks like Weevil pulled a fast one on you, Joey! I know! But how'd he get that Parasite card in my deck? Ah, that kid must have been working for Weevil! I bet he slipped it in! This kid was of no use! The kid was just for Weevil to jizz all over! Why? Because this kid didn't need to place the card in his deck when Weevil could have done it with himself in a much more simpler way, since the flip effect is to literally place it in your opponent's deck, Weevil! You make me angry, Weevil! Also, I'm adding 1,000 cents to the counter, and I'll explain why. I'm writing this script for the video as I watch this, and I do the research on the cards to see what they do. My default browser is micro-
Bing because it won't let me change it, and I got the most disgusting images when I searched up this card, which I'm not even sure is real! So in addition to those 1,000, I'm adding an additional 1,000 because <laughs> Weevil and <laughs> BING! The parasite which resembles something like Las Plagas coming out of Panther Warrior's mouth is just sickening. You don't seem to realize that your cocoon of evolution has zero attack points! Ha! Attack points mean nothing, you fool! It's defending me! Take a closer look, flea brain! Ugh, it can't be! I forgot to switch my cocoon into defense mode! That's right! And with zero attack points, it's a sitting duck! Oh no! I'm done! Or so you think! Huh? This magic card will save me! Every monster infected by a parasite becomes an insect! My barrier will protect me and my cocoon from all of your monsters! This is a legit play, but you're still a retard for leaving it in attack mode. Not even I would make that mistake. Or at least I think not anymore. Now I summon Lego! Attack his life points directly! Ah! How'd you do that? <laughs> the little bite was absolutely hilarious, but imagine if you're being attacked directly by a battle and boxer or a dragon. God, Yu-Gi-Oh is more dangerous than I thought. My ultimate great moth is like nothing you ever faced before or will ever face again! Enough with the moth, Underwood! We get it! Tristan says what we're all thinking. Time's up, Wheeler! Ultimate Great Moth! Erupt from your cocoon and reveal your supreme power! Man, that's big! This is exactly what my girlfriend says when I pull down my pants! What the f This is exactly what my girlfriend says when I flex! Can it not be about your manhood? This is exactly what people say about my ego! That's nah, a little better. Be saying goodbye to Battle City in no time, Wheeler! Whatever. Come on! You must have some kind of giant fly swatter or something in your deck! Ah, yes. The god tier card, giant fly swatter. It's just as good as La Chancla. What are you? His pom pom girl? Don't make me oh. come over there! As a matter of fact, yeah! I like to put on my pom pom girl outfit and cheer Joey all the way! It doesn't look too good for Joey. The Great Moth is just too tough. Maybe we should just log offline now. Jeez! Next up on this channel is a crash course on how to be hopeless, featuring this little bastard. This monster seems unbeatable. Maybe the best move is to just run away and hide. You mean kinda like you did today? Get f by a blind girl, kid! What the hell? Now you remember Lego, don't you? <laughs> It's kind of hard to forget something that's been biting your thighs, arms, and probably crotch, so of course Joy remembers. And similarly, this is the reason I'll never forget you, Princess. You know who you are. Finish him off, my great moth! Nice try, Bug Brain. Reveal Skull Dice! This card will reduce your monster's attack power depending on the roll of the die. So the higher the number, the weaker your morph gets. Huh? What? A two? Oh, well, it still cuts the attack points of your oversized pest in half. Why? Why does it get cut in half? You rolled a two, so that thing only loses 200 attack points. <laughs> Sorry, Brooklyn boy. I think you lost this duel just like you lost his last episode. Rest in peace. The magic card, Graceful Dice! Part two of my ingenious master plan. The higher I roll, the stronger my parasite monster will become, you little permite! Alright! Parasite Parasite's attack points multiply by 4 to 2,000! Joey wants to be bad at math. Well, strike that. Actually, he's superb at math. The thing that he's bad at is reading, because you add the result of the dice roll and multiply it times 100. Not multiply the monster's attack points times the dice roll. How is Gaga Gigo with a three gonna beat the likes of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Egyptian Gods? Alright! <laughs> okay, this pose that Joey's doing makes me have reason to believe he's a Richter Belmont fan, or at least thinks his I'm gonna fist you monster pose is cool. Hey, bye bye to your fuck! Ah! Up high! You did up high, now where's down low, you heathen? Hey, check it out! Yeah, Serenity, check it out with the eyes you can definitely see through right now. Yeah, okay! This duel isn't over yet, Wheeler! Not by a mile! Wrong! This duel only lasts two episodes, so don't make a mountain out of your anthill, you bull weevil. At least when Arcana is like... <laughs> oh, God, that's... I just did Krusty. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the opening act, Yugi! His duel actually lasted a while. A shame, really, I like Weevil as a villain. I love his throat cancer voice. Hold your fire! Insect 
queen. Her special function, she absorbs the attack points of every insect on the field. It, that's right. My monsters are still considered insects because of that stinking parasite. Exactly. Now absorb their power, my queen. That's a thousand more attack points. Because of this insect queen and parasite parasite combo, Weevil's deck wants to be a Buster Blader with DNA surgery deck so badly. They have the, oh, I activated this and now my monster will become Broly as you so much as think about playing the game. When I was scared to get my operation, he gave me the strength I needed to go through with it. He's more than my brother. Joey's my friend and we're there to support each other no matter what. Look, brunette Sephiroth, can we please move along before the brother's sister makes me inclined to remove a sin. Damn it. Hey, will you be my friend? Sure. Thanks. That was a riveting conversation that has opened my third eye. I sacrifice Legol! The more she feeds, the more powerful she becomes. Oh. No, that's just disgusting. I'm strongly aware of how the insect kingdom is barbaric, and seeing insect queen devour Legol is definitely not helping. Not only that, but the queen doesn't get stronger as she feeds. She simply needs a tribute per attack. Plus, this card actually f**ks itself since it spits out these disgusting tokens in attack mode. That means your deck actually destroys itself if it wasn't for your insect barrier. So take these sins for your jank situational deck, Weevil. Attack his panther, warrior! <laughs> Another one bites the dust! Is Weevil just a fan of Queen? <laughs> First it was the Insect Queen, and now he's going on about another one bites the dust? Joey walks wearily down this street, his hair weighing on his neck! Ain't no sound but this little sh**! Joey trying to achieve his deck! Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Out of the alley, the slime is loose! It's Weevil Underwood! Yeah! <laughs> Another one bites the dust! Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Hang in there, Joey! We're all behind you! Trust yourself, Joey! Trust your deck! Focus, Joey! Friendship conquers all cliche right here. And also, what are those Barry Obama ears you have, Tristan? <laughs> just look at your silhouette! I see a little silhouette of a Ned boy. Am I just gonna make this freaking channel like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Queen cover show? Joey's in a tight spot and he needs all the strength we can give him! We gotta keep cheering, Serenity! Are you with me? <laughs> Joey! Joey! Boy, aren't you trying to stay hidden from the nurses? Gear free the Iron Knight! You fool! Once your knight has been infected by my parasite card, he'll just be another snack for my ravenous queen! Don't be so sure about that, Weevil. Some cards are bug-proof! What's wrong? Why can't the parasite feed on it? He's Gear Free, the Iron Knight, and that slimy Parasite's helpless against his metal armor. No, no, no. Parasite Parasite's helpless against the Destroy Equip card's effect. How'd you figure that out? He did his homework, Weevil. I hardly classify reading a card's description as homework, mate. Unless if that's what they do at Dual Academy. In which case, their homework must be very easy. <laughs> no one gets away with disrespecting my queen like that! Prepare to be pulverized as I power up my mighty insect queen with even more attack points! Weevil downright simping for his insect queen aside, his hair is extra... wide? Just looks like a strange panorama picture. I will summon Soldier Ant! Then activate the magic card Ant Reproduction! Watch them multiply into an ant colony! Weevil, you are ripping off Yugi's Karibo play back on Duelist Kingdom. The only difference is that Yugi's cards were actually real. Brain robber! Yep, it could take a card from your graveyard and use it against you. And he just nabbed your can of aerosol. <laughs> yeah! There goes my best problem. What have you done to my queen? But wait, I'm not true with you yet, Weevil Underpants. Underpants? That's better than my undergarment zinger. Joey, you've done it again. Gearfield? Gearfield? His name is Gearfree, Joey. <laughs> At least learn your card's name, you jerk. Ah! Welcome to Loserville, Weevil. Population, you. Uh, I, I lost? I don't believe it. <laughs> you probably lost because your sneakers have fly-shaped bows on them, you little elf. The time is growing close, my mind slave. Soon we'll destroy Yugi together. <laughs> Oh, strings. 
What are you? You look like a very twisted hybrid of a lost soul who works at Hot Topic and a concert giving out glow sticks. There's so much more I can say, but that is for the next time on Dragon Ball Z! Creepy laugh, knowing his name before you even give it, goodness gracious, it is at this point where Yugi should A, walk away, 2, send this guy to the Shadow Realm, D, call the police because this guy looks very rapey, or secondly, just pull out a gun from that storage unit he calls Heron and shoot him. 